Okay, here it is that uh, super gluing the front tire. I'm going to use the KS1038 on 19 millimeter wheel, no flange. I don't put tire tape. I don't wash the tire, uh, the tire soap it or clean it. I don't do any of that stuff. Why? Because I haven't had the tire peel off of the rim with the glue. Once that happens, I don't know if it's going to happen, but when it does, before it used to happen with the different glue but now it doesn't happen and i haven't had that experience even in my mod car with 6000 kv motor the front or the rear tires it doesn't come off with the with that glue so i don't wash it or or use a motor cleaner to clean it or scuff it i don't do any of that stuff i mean before i did back it back way long time ago but with that glue uh, i haven't I haven't had to, which is good because uh, I wanted I want to do this faster since I glue a lot of tires almost every week. Uh, you know what? Let me mention that again. That inside lip of the rim is where the tire step goes goes this way not this way why even if that's glued this is still gonna fold when you corner and it's gonna cause the car to traction roll or have a ch chattery front end okay it's this way I know I said that many times on my videos about tire, uh, taping the tires or gluing the tires. But not everyone watches the videos, right? So if you're new, uh, you can check out the other videos I have about uh, gluing the tires and taping the tires. Okay, now that's done. Let's use this bag to put the glue. So here we go. Peel that. So, okay, you know what? Let's start with, I, I. this is a non-flange wheel and I want to make wheels that doesn't have glue on the sidewall, just like this. No glue on the sidewall, okay? This one has glue on the sidewall. I wanted to put glue on there, okay? And this one doesn't have glue on the sidewall, even though there's flange. There's different purposes purposes for that. So these are PN firm tires, 19 millimeter wheel, 20 millimeter, and 20 millimeter. This one is the KS101042. No sidewall glue so that the sidewall flexes and you get more bite. Um, it has that dig in feel. So if you have a smaller track or a more technical track, I like to use this one so I have that um, initial turn in but if you're running high speed um, layout to where you're on throttle and just weaving around the chicane this is gonna dig in too much that the back of the wheel uh, the back wheel will lift with when that happens I would go with the other set of the same tire and this is no super glued sidewall but it has flange this is just like having a full-size tire that you glued halfway on the sidewall. Halfway only. It'll be like this guy. Flange and a little bit of tire exposed with no glue. This has flange and glued sidewall. This is just like this guy but with glued sidewall. So for less bite, mid, and high bite. It's another tuning option, right? It's like changing the springs, but instead this one has a very drastic change to the car. And that's what I have. You can also do it in the medium compound tire or the super soft or soft. Back then when we didn't have the flange wheel, we just used the super glue to tune it halfway, no glue, halfway, or full sidewall. Okay, that's, uh, that's what that is. This one... I don't want a glue I don't want glue on the sidewall. And to do that, 
you only put a little bit of glue inside so that the glue doesn't come out and go on the sidewall. Also, I found out that you want to wait a little bit before you start peeling the tire or, you know, to, to put glue inside. Just a little bit, like a few seconds. And then when you pull it, don't pull it too hard. This way you don't get glue on your finger in case you're wondering why I have purple gloves on my left thumb. It's because I managed to... Um, well, I did a lot of gluing, like at least two dozens of tires in the last two weeks. I know I didn't glue my 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 finger in the uh, the on the tire. It's just that uh, there's a lot of glue on the skin. That's all, and it's. Uh, kind of peeling okay, not too much glue you see that I hope you can see it there isn't any um, glue on the sidewall okay now we just put it to the side and then I'll do this one There you go. No super glue on the sidewall. Okay, while we wait for those two tires, let's work on uh, putting glue on the sidewall for this um, old wheels that I have. To do that, I only want the sidewall, okay? I only want this part. I don't put glue right at the corner um, I know others are doing that I I don't do that I, I don't want to use the glue to make the car understeer I'm only using the glue to stiffen up the sidewall so it doesn't dig in and there's no sidewall flex if I have to put super glue on the outside to make the car understeer it's probably because I'm not using the right tire or my setup is wrong but yeah I don't I don't use the the super glue to make the car push so it's, I only want it on the sidewall and only a little bit you know what hang on no glue on the the tire itself. Not even here. Just the sidewall. Okay, now that it's dried. Oh, I also don't use the um, accelerator. I, I let it sit and let it dry. Because uh, it's fine to use it, it's just that it smells. Uh, I don't like the smell of it. But anyway, now that it's dry, the, the front is dry now let's work on the back side you wanna you wanna glue the front side first because when you put the glue you're pushing the tire towards the back and because of the lip of the wheel and that step of on the tire the tire is not gonna slide out of the rim right and this is why you want to do the front first because before I did the back, for the video purpose, I glued this side, and when everything was glued and it was on the lip perfectly fine, on the other side, the tire was sticking out. And I tried to push it in and glue it. it, it I couldn't do it. 
it wasn't it wasn't flush as as this um, wheel right now the tire and the rim are flush so i do this small section at a time and don't forget the lip that's very important Push it in and wait for like five seconds. No glue on the sidewall, but I'll, I'll put glue on this in a little bit. And now let's put super glue on the sidewall. Again, just the sidewall. Oh, you know what? Just the sidewall, not the uh, the corner of the the tire. Sidewall only. This side only. Not this side. I'm not very careful on the, the back side of the wheel when I'm putting glue because the, the traction roll doesn't really come from the inside. It's just that small chatter. But the outside part of the, the wheel, that one I, I do it slower, I guess. I'm more careful this side when I'm going to glue that later. So yeah, that's it. And this is why you want to kind of true that a little bit or else it's going to start hopping around. So I think that's it for the video. Again, this glue, a bag where you would put the glue and toothpick. When you're done, just throw these away. Yep, that's it.